What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Happy New Year. Hope uh, 2022 is better for you than it was for just about everybody. We've got a, another What's in the Box video for you. Today we're working with the Fujimi. Uh, what, what scale is this? 124th? 124th scale old mini Mayfair 1.3i and 25th anniversary edition so you got a couple different versions of build options so we're gonna go ahead and pop the top flip it and shag it and right away we'll look at the instruction booklet the fold out style these Japanese flat kits do everything's really detailed um, clearly marked what you know for what version you're going to use we're going to use the newer uh anniversary edition or the old school like the single dash single um, instrument cluster what parts you will or won't use um decal placement pretty you know pretty decent pretty basic uh instructions and really simple logo or logos decals Got two different versions here. You've got the Mini Mayfair 13 Auto, and then the 25th Anniversary. So, you know, it's basically it's the same logo set, logo decal set, but one of them has uh, the 25th Anniversary. So you got your instrument clusters, uh, old school green on these some fender flags and other various stickers and then these are kind of the same but that's more of an updated style of instrument cluster so we'll uh start right away with the little body of this little guy look at that thing it's just tiny oh well, yeah tiny so for scale i've done this before Use this guy, say 125th scale, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Uh, Ford Crown Victoria. It's a pretty good sized car, you know, it's pretty big. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just shiny. Look at that. Wow. So, that's, uh, <laughs> that's so funny. It's a good looking car. These are iconic. It's an iconic vehicle. You see one of those, you're like, oh, that's a mini. Everybody knows what these look like. Nice, solid plastic. Looks really good. It's got a indent cut for the skylight, which I will be using. So you can see down inside of there. Looks like if you don't, you're probably going to want to put a little bit of filler or some uh, filling primer on there to cover that. You might get a little discoloration from that if you didn't use the skylight. And... That is not a mold line. That's part of the vehicle. That's just part of the style of the vehicle. That's there. The hood on these opened that way, or the bonnet, I should say, and that would be the boot. The boot. Good looking car. Good looking mold. Looks nice. It's got some fender flares on it already. And I plan on doing mine with this beautiful racing green, this Tamaya green, I'm going full dirt rally style. But I kind of peeked at it a little bit. I looked in the box a little and I saw we'll get right into the chromes. And you can see, we'll go ahead and get both of these out right now so we can do a side by side. There's subtle differences in each option one for the anniversary and one for the the original mini which is what i'm going for um see i'll, I'll put a picture up here of one that i saw online did some googling googling research and looked Oops, some little bit just fell off it's probably just a part of the tree but we'll save it anyways so you can see these are pretty much the same they're almost identical it, the only difference that I could see is the grill 
That was a little bit of a style difference. Just a little bit of a style difference. But those right there, that, oh, yes. Yes, please. With the green. And uh, that'll segue nicely into the tires that, uh, you know how I do. I always like to, the, the what ifs. What if we did this? What if we did a different style? That's the wheel and tire, the, the tire, I should say, that it comes with. Good looking rubber. It's a, a Pirelli, Pirelli P7. It's a good tire, you know? It's gonna look nice on that car. It's a good race tire, good road tire. But, I have these that were from the Subaru Brat kit that I lifted and put bigger tires on. So I've got four of these with the, um, uh, what are they? The, the spoke style, white spokes, that it's really not that much bigger of a tire, but it's big enough that it might give it a little bit more attitude. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that works, if it's going to build up like that. If not, we can go with these, these stockers that it came with. They're also a good-looking set of rubber. And then we'll get into the wheels. Two different options. Jackman's. That was the word I was looking for. The Jackman-style wheels. You know, like the, the just the white spokes. Like, imagine if that's white, basically. So we got two different options here. For the again the anniversary or the original, those would be the original, and that's the anniversary. Uh, don't like those ones at all. And these, you know, with some black wash, those will clean up nice. Those will look good. You know, yeah. And then the clear parts. Uh, solid piece front and rear side windows and then the skylight with various lights for all those light bars and then the clear rear lenses we can paint up in the orange or red transparent uh, no nice required the interior door cards Really nice detail. Really nice. It's got a slight texture to it that's different. So those will those will uh, those will paint up nice and look like uh, I don't know Naga hide. Two front seats, one rear seat, or you could go without. Probably I I might go without. Nice big brake rotors. For, I mean big for that car. That's a that's a pretty good sized rotor. There's your engine bottom with some uh, control arms. More of the rear swing arms. And then the last tree. The uh, interior tub part that's you know pretty no frills but so were these cars these were kind of a no frill vehicle um with some pretty good details on the chassis bottom you know with factory stampings and fuel and brake lines that those will paint up and clean up nice um three different steering wheel options we've got I like that one. I'll probably even go as far as trying to drill those holes out. It's got three little holes there. And then there's, this is for the newer style. I don't really care for that that much. Uh, pedal assemblies, knuckles, steering column. And then the dashboard cluster. Does that even show on the camera? Yes. Barely. That's the old school style with the single big gauge in the middle. And then there's the anniversary style that has it moved off to the side. It's right hand drive only. 
It's the only option for this kit. Uh, I don't care for those. The, I, I really don't. I would much rather see that iconic single big dash in the middle. And uh, that about does it for the Hasegawa Mini. Or no, no, correction, Fujimi. Fujimi, uh, 120, what did I say? 124 scale, old school Mini. Pretty cool kit. Looking forward to this one. Again, with this, this nice green and may or may not use those BF Goodrich tires on there. You know, we might go with the Pirellis. It looks just as good. And that about does it. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.